Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, warm welcome. Thank you for discovering my channel. I'm so grateful that you are here with us all today. I want to share with you some tips on crushing goals in a crisis. It's a scenario we've all experienced at some point or another. You're absolutely crushing life, doing amazing things at work, having incredible relationships that feed your soul, your passion, that you pursue with every ounce of your being. And then something goes wrong. It might be a big breakup or you lose your job or even a global pandemic stops the world for a time and you find yourself locked in your house 24 7. Never fret, we have some amazing ways to help you keep crushing all of those goals even when you are in total crisis. Tip number one, make a list of daily goals. It's great to have that big picture goal, that big vision that you want to achieve but sometimes, like getting over that guy or starting a side hustle, are a bit broad to achieve in a day. So give yourself two or three achievable goals each day and physically write them down. There is nothing more satisfying than being able to tick them off the list at the end of the day or as you go through the day. Now, it's great having that overall vision of what it is you want to achieve, but some days that is just so overwhelming and you kind of get stuck and don't really progress. So the key is to break that big vision goal down into small, actionable items each day that keep moving you forward, that keep progressing you. Tip number two, set a daily intention. Stuck on your daily goals? Maybe start with an intention. So if you can't think of a goal or you're really struggling to come up with what you want your daily goal to be, just start with an intention. Something as simple as, today I will do one thing to boost my side hustle and one thing to boost my mental health. Something like, meditation or yoga, watching a YouTube video and doing yoga practice for 20 minutes, taking a shower, cooking breakfast, are all great things to reflect on and consider what your day may look like. Again, I recommend writing down your intention so you can refer to it throughout the day and that will keep you motivated. Have a solid and consistent routine. And I know this isn't groundbreaking and you have probably heard it before, but so many of us fail to really keep a solid, consistent routine. And there's a great deal of power in that routine. I personally have just finished listening to A Miracle Morning and it just reinforced my understanding of how much having a consistent daily routine really sets us up for success and just makes us feel a little bit better. So even when everything feels like it's falling apart, the best thing you can do for yourself is to create a routine. A feeling of normality is the best thing to combat all the chaos of a crisis. Be sure to include three regular meals, 30 minutes of time outside in nature, and about 30 minutes of exercise. But don't forget, you can combine the outdoor and nature or with your exercise. They don't have to be two separate things. And combining all of these will really boost your productivity. Simply insert your achievable daily goals into this consistent routine and voila, you will be crushing your goals and taking care of yourself all at the same time. And finally, give yourself a break. Be compassionate. You show other people compassion, but how often do you show yourself that compassion? 
it is very every bit important to have time off as it is to have time on a routine will give you flow and having a planned break will give you motivation to power through each task and a great way to achieve this is to set amount of time per task i.e 30 minutes checking emails at the start of each day but not before you've got out of bed and had a shower do not be reaching to that phone before you have got up make sure you check your emails after you have followed your daily routine because the second you start checking them before you've taken care of yourself you're working on someone else's schedule someone else's timetable for you and not your own so do not reach for that phone before you have got up and you have had a shower and then once that 30 minutes is up of you checking your emails you move on to the next thing whether or not you finish that task anything that doesn't get done today is simply moved to tomorrow's to-do list don't eat into your break time to finish just one more thing this can lead to burnout the main takeaway is that the best way to stay motivated when your life falls apart into a crisis is to be consistent with your routine and kind to yourself taking care of your mental and physical health is absolutely key to crushing those goals no matter what life throws your way.